good afternoon students hope yesterday you all went through the ppt so i am miss a maria stella assistant professor department of ca so in this semester you have an idc paper that idc paper uh, deals about computer skill development course so here we are going to study about the basics of computer so this is your uh, syllabus uh, i have just given you first unit so when we go for every unit we'll see what is in the syllabus and then we'll move on to the topic and this is your textbook and uh, i have also given you um, whichever unit covers uh, whichever chapters okay so now first you must know what is computer so computer stands for common operating machine particularly used for trade education and research so learn this uh, correctly next so these are the basic computer equipment so we need a monitor we need a cpu speakers printer mouse keyboard so these are all the basic computer equipments that are needed now this is the cpu so uh, the cpu only we are calling it as console and um, here uh, what are the uh, things given uh, we we have a power button then you have a dvd uh, or cd drive then what's a sd card port uh, then usb ports microphone port headphones port so everything you are going to connect only using this particular uh, ports okay next monitor so monitor is the uh, important thing where it is dis going to display the text and graphic information generated by the console console is the cpu mouse so mouse is a pointing device that allows you to select and manipulate objects that you see on your monitor so in a mouse you can left click double click drag and drop click and drag right click so whatever uh, you however you click as per that um, the mouse will function so keyboard is the input device so whatever you want to type you type through the keyboard so keyboard and mouse are input devices printer and speakers are output devices so we come to the definition of a computer an electronic device that accepts input processes data provides storage and retrieval and provides output for the users yeah so an electronic device first of all whatever uh, input the user gives it will accept it then that input will be processed finally it will produce the output and if you want you can store the output okay so you can use your computer to type the documents send email browse the internet handle spreadsheets do presentations play games and much more you can do with a computer you must be clear with the two types that is one is data and information see data is the raw thing that you are going to give as uh, input it will not be processed it will not have any meaning okay so the user whatever data you give that data will be processed and changed as a information so information is the processed and organized data when you say data it will be raw you know what is raw material so the raw material must be refined to get the final product okay see see in this diagram the data that you are giving will be um, processed by the computer and after processing we get the um, output so this output only is called as the information okay so next you must know uh, what is hardware and what is software so a computer is made up of only two components that is hardware and software mm, anything that you are buying for your computer that you can uh, touch and feel that will be called as hardware so any part of your computer that has a physical structure 
where a software are instructions any set of instruction that tells the hardware what to do and uh, will be called as the software so here you cannot touch a software okay so the hardware consists of two components input and output devices an input device will allow to input information into the computer so it may be mouse keyboard microphone flash drive or scanner output device will display information from a computer so it monitor speaker headphones or printer so software i already told you software is any set of instruction that tells the hardware what to do okay so i have given you some examples of software so browsers games and all the office applications all programs everything is a software so everyone have seen your desktop you have a laptop so your desktop will be like this so in desktop you have whatever the small picture that is called as icons and uh, here uh, below you have a bar that's called as a quick launch bar the task bar uh, will be indicating uh, which file you have currently opened mm, and here in the system tray here it will be uh, giving you uh, details about whether it is uh, connected whether you have connected any secondary storage device or any uh, pen drive you have connected like that information you want to adjust the volume then all those will be the start button will allow you to open any application that you need so the desktop is the place where you can easily gain access to everything on your computer so you can use the mouse to move around on the desktop the background on which the icon sit is called as the desktop okay now when you whatever data we store in the computer uh, will be stored in the form of zeros and ones because computer can understand only that so that is called as bit so bit is a unit of information binary number 0 and 1 look the electrical signals will be converted into zeros and uh, ones so because only that can be understood by the computer whereas byte is a sequence of 8 bits see in this whatever you typed from the keyboard will move as electrical signal it will go to the cpu cpu will process it it will change into zeros and ones binary code and finally it will be displayed on to the monitor so you must know uh, this basic units of measurement so 1000 bytes equal to 1 kilobyte 1000 kilobytes equal to 1 megabyte and 1000 megabytes equal to 1 gigabyte 1000 gigabytes equal to 1 terabyte okay students uh, thank you uh, we'll meet in the next class if you have any queries you can message me thank you students